Hi guys. So today I'm going to talk about the Silicon Valley Bank in US, which collapsed. Just a week back, it was uh, worth dollar two hundred billion, and was the sixteenth largest bank in US. Uh, but you know, unfortunately, it, it collapsed, and there were several re reasons to it. So during the uh, COVID period, you know, there was a digital boom, so to speak. The tech startups, many tech startups, uh, you know, came came up. And they uh, needed fund, right? So uh, they approached this bank, and this is specifically this bank uh, catering to you know tech startups and technology firms. Okay, so they went to the bank for the uh, funds and loans. Okay, uh, and they naturally they had the they you know thought of investing. Okay, they will obviously, as all banks do, they invest the deposits. Okay, but then over a period of time, you know, uh, things changed and the uh, tightened economy. Okay, over a period of time, until last year, you know, uh, uh, made the bank, you know, or put the bank in a difficult situation. For example, uh, the Federal Reserve decided to you know raise the interest rates. Okay, to cool off the inflation. Now. Inflation, or rather, the interest rates, do have an inverse relation with the bond prices. Okay, so they had invested in bonds, so uh, they started losing the bonds started losing their value, right? So what did they think of to sell the bonds? And simultaneously, uh, what happened? The uh, customers, okay, they wanted to withdraw their deposits because, of, again, because of the economic condition. So they wanted to withdraw money. So this had a double whammy effect, and uh, they were short of money. So they made an announcement that uh, they will raise like dollar one point seven eight billion, one point seven five billion, okay. Uh, and just after two days after this announcement was made, uh, the bank collapsed. Now, uh, because people realize that uh, the bank was sh short of money that's why they are you know making such announcements and uh, you know the us federal reserve okay made an arrangement that okay uh, i mean uh, uh, going forward the banks can borrow funds uh, like uh, which are backed by sec securities government securities okay and also uh, the us government uh, guarantee these deposits Okay, so there were several measures taken in this regard, okay, which you know sort of, sort of specified the investors and the customers. Uh, so it doesn't. So this may not be 2008 all over again, but yes, there are lurking dangers, and uh, it will be interesting to see the appetite of uh, Federal Reserve to raise the interest rates uh, to combat inflation, given the situation. Now, as it stands of today. Uh, HSBC has acquired the UK arm of uh, uh, SBB Bank, so we would be there would be no surprises if we see many many more such consolidations in the sector uh, uh, in the near future. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.